Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Some big trending news is going on on Twitter in the world of Microsoft. So we know the Xbox Series X is coming out this holiday season. It was probably, uh, you know, Microsoft's most powerful console ever made. And then there's always these rumblings, these rumors that there's going to be a smaller console coming out that was referred to as the Series S. Not the X, the Series S. So, in addition to that, we got the One X, the One S. It's it's kind of confusing, all these name conventions. It's almost a wonder why people didn't have as much trouble with these Xbox consoles as they did with the Wii and Wii U. I have no idea why that was such a struggle for people. But, the Series S has finally been revealed through a leak. Now, this is through Brad Sams, who also posted a video showcasing this, showing the price point as well. And the size of the Series S compared to the uh, Series X. I want to say 1X, but Series X. See, I'm even having trouble struggling with that. So this is pretty cool. It's been common knowledge that the Series S was going to be coming around the holiday season. It's going to be a smaller, cheaper alternative to the Series X. So it basically not so powerful and might not even have a disk drive or any of the features that the series x has and i'm over here still trying not to purposely screw up the naming conventions of it but let's go ahead and take a look at twitter because it is storming so here's the reveal and this is brad sams himself take a look at that <laughs> it looks like a washing machine and this is a comparison from the series x as well if you want to take a look at that. So the S and the X. The series consoles. Uh, much more. Oh, it actually kind of looks like an Xbox One S. If I'm being honest. Um, and this person, they said they were fairly close. This is like, I guess, a mock-up of what this person tweeted. Not too bad, other than the big-ass speaker being gone. So, yeah. Here's the first look. It is priced at $299. Um, so... Brad Sams is a Thorat executive editor. He published a new video, and uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the video so you guys can watch it. He claimed that this was a first look at the Series S, which was a rumored low-end version of the Series X, um, and it's reportedly going to be at a price of $299. This seems like this is the real deal. Uh, Nico Partner, Senior Atlantis Analyst, Daniel Ahmad, who has shared accurate info regarding non-public matters in the past added to Sam's post stating that while the console design is real he's unaware of the price point so this price point is up for debate but this is an interesting number considering 300 for a lower end hardware um at 300 bucks that leads you to believe that if this is true the series x itself will probably be priced about 500 bucks maybe even 600 <laughs> i would i would venture to say probably closer to 500 would be what the series x is going to be if this is it and it also appears to be discless so let's go ahead and see what he says he says this is basically part of microsoft's two um sku push for the xbox next gen family ahmad said the series x being a high-end high spec high price console the series s being a mid-range mid-spec low price console both running the same next gen game so these will be playing the same games um all xbox games they've said have been optimized for the one the series x i want to say one x series x but they could also be played on previous iterations as well he continued one notable thing is a lack of a disk drive in the series okay so yeah series s does not have a disk drive to keep costs down it's very much a console that allows people to jump in from day one at a low cost rather than have to wait for price drops. So if you don't have the patience to wait for a Series X, you don't want a price drop, apparently this is going to be a valuable option. While Microsoft has yet to officially announce Series S, so yeah, this has not been officially confirmed, it's been rumored for quite some time. Most recently mentioned of the unannounced hardware appeared on packaging for the new Xbox controller. So this is a reference for... Um, the controller this came out a while back so next generation xbox controller package and mentioned series x compatibility so this came out i would say maybe like a month ago or so this this uh led a lot of people to believe that the series x and you can see it right here it confirms xbox series x and s it also works on xbox one windows 10 android ios 
and the verge also followed up so different different websites different journalists have all all but confirmed the 1s uh, a while back so it hasn't been officially confirmed uh by microsoft yet but it has been constantly referenced with additions with um accessories with software and things like that so now this supposed leak and we're gonna go back to it this is the the video which i'll link down below um he goes ahead makes his video shows it off and you can see he just kind of talks about it so very interesting um this screenshot from the video does look like it was from an official presentation so maybe wherever this is going to be was going to be on the next showcase or some kind of feature that microsoft was going to have um so it says on top of the seemingly missing disk drive the xbox series s also features a fan located in the same spot as the current xbox consoles that's shaped like the fan on top of the series x so it's gonna have I guess a condensed version, weaker hardware, who knows. Uh, Brad Sams is apparently a pretty, um, I would say, reputable insider and source in the gaming community. So this this honestly seems to be it. This will be the Xbox Series S. This is what it looks like. That's the size of it. And uh, people are having mixed reactions to it, <laughs> you know. There's no way there's a disk drive and it about half that space would be taken up by the power supply in the Series X. The other half would be the PCB and cooling. It's almost exactly the disk drive thinner than the Series X. So cute. They're like brothers. Power button, one USB and a painting button on the front. By the way, the price was on the slide you got. You didn't add it. So you can see <laughs> she always complains about my size. Would like to see your complaint now. So there's, there's a whole bunch of different... Uh, avenues right here series subwoofer people are saying it looks like a weird design i would say the series x itself kind of looks weird as well um you know i wasn't expecting it to look like the front end of a a dryer but what can you do right as i spit my water all over my screen um i'm probably not going to be wasting my time getting the series s i think it's weird to launch it alongside the Series X itself. Uh, I think Xbox is not concerned about hardware sales at this point. I think they're more concerned about Game Pass, getting people to sign up for that, doing the Game Pass anywhere, um, and you know, not really focusing their efforts on hard hardware anymore. I think they're treating it like computers, where you can get a souped-up thing or something that's mid-range or keep your Xbox One. Um, Way too, mis too many variations of consoles, for my opinion. I know some people prefer different options for hardware, but in far, as far as console gaming goes, I don't know if that's such a great idea. But then again, you know, what do I know? But having it come out at the same time or in the same window just doesn't seem wise to me. So we'll see what happens. What do you guys think? Comment down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time.